What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to block adult content on your network or on specific device. You will have to set up a custom DNS. And if you don't know what's a DNS, DNS stands for Domain Name System. It's basically a phone book of the internet. So for example, if you're typing some kind of website in your address bar, and basically your computer connects to DNS, and DNS resolves that name and basically point your computer into the right directions. By default, your home network will use your internet service provider DNS. Or we can set up a custom one by one of the biggest DNSs out there. It's a Cloudflare. Cloudflare introduced multiple DNSs. One of them is for fast and privacy first DNS resolver. And then there is for families. So for example, there is two flavors. One is that will be blocking malware and the second one will be blocking malware and adult content. And then if you scroll down here, there is installation guide how to do that. And I'll leave this link in the description below. And then there is multiple ways to do that. One of the ways is to set up DNS on router. If you do that, then your entire home network will be redirected through that DNS. Or if you would like to set up a specific device or on your kid computer or maybe iPhone or iPad, I'll show you how to do that. So first I'm going to show you how to do it on Windows, then on router, and then I'm going to show you how to do it on the iPad. And it's going to be basically the same way if you'll have to do it on an iPhone or very similar if you have Android device. So on your Windows computer, what we need to do, we need to press on start and type settings and then open settings app and in here we need to click on network and internet and then we need to choose wi-fi or ethernet if you have a laptop then most likely you're on the wi-fi and if you have hardware connection on your computer then press on ethernet mine is on ethernet so i'm going to press on ethernet and then right here we need to press on change adapter options then this window is going to appear right here we can see that i'm connected through the ethernet and you might see more nicks over here and if they'll have a red x that's mean they're not in use for example wi-fi i'm not connected through wi-fi i'm just connected through the ethernet so right here we need to right click on it and then click on properties and same thing you'll do if you are connected to wi-fi then right here we need to choose internet protocol version 4 and then press on properties and then this window is going to appear right here. So right here, we need to press radio button next to use following DNS server address. And then we'll go back to our web page. And right here, we're going to choose just Windows. And then we'll scroll down because we're going to be blocking malware and adult content. And we're going to use these two following DNS addresses. So we're going to copy first one. And then we're going to go back here into this window and we're going to paste it here or you can just type it and then the second one this is alternative and then paste here as well and now we just have to press ok and we can do the same thing to ipv version 6 properties and then same thing but for ip version 6 we'll have to use following ip addresses and I'm going to press cancel because I'm only setting up on IP version 4. And then once it's set up, press on close here. And then if we open another tab and we're going to go to this website, this is just for demonstration only. phub.com and then press on enter. As you can see, this website can be reached. And if you're going to try to connect to any other adult websites, you'll get this message. The site can be reached. So this is the way how you set it up on specific devices. And now I'm going to show you how to set up on your entire network. So first thing we need to do, we need to find IP address of our router. So if we go back here and we go back one more time, we can press on router. Usually they give you a sample. So for example, if you're using Linksys or Asus, this is typically IP address, Netgear, Dylan, maybe Ubiquiti. But what you can do, you can press on start and type CMD and then open command prompt. Once this window is going to appear right here, we need to type IP config and then press on enter. And right here, you're going to be able to see this information here and default gateway. This is going to be always IP address of your router. 
so we're gonna copy this and then we're gonna go back to our web browser I'm gonna close this tab and we're gonna type this IP address here 192.168.1.1 yours could be something else you have to go based off default gateway and then press enter and now we need to log into our router if you never logged into your router most likely there's going to be a tag or a sticker or something on the back of your router with the username and password you'll have to find that otherwise maybe you'll just google it and find your router if you're using Linksys, just google Linksys default username and password so i'm going to log in really quick Once you sign into your router, if you're using Aces, most likely your menu is going to look like that. If you're using something else, most likely then it's going to look something else. But the concept is going to be the same. You'll have to look for settings. And then in my case, in Aces, I'll have to press on when. And you can always go back and refer to instructions here and then scroll down and maybe they'll have your router here. And if your router is not here, then you'll just have to poke around and just press on different tabs, different buttons until you're going to see something like when DNS settings, like for example, on Asus router, it's set up to use automatically right here. I'm going to press radio button next to no. And then right here, DNS server one and DNS server two. That's where I'm going to type the Cloudflare DNS address 1.1.1.3 and then secondary i think it was 1.0.0.3 and then at the end you just go click on apply and then you're gonna save and you'll get exactly the same results as i just showed you on windows computer and then same thing right here for the instructions if you have a mac press on mac and then scroll down and right here it's going to tell you exactly where you need to go and what you need to press and how to apply dns address so this is basically how to do it on computers, on Mac or on Windows. There's also instructions for Linux or on the router. And now I'm going to show you how to do it on an iPad. And on your iPad, we need to open settings. And then in settings, press on Wi-Fi. And then right here, you're going to see your Wi-Fi connected. We need to press on this little eye icon then information settings is going to appear right here we need to find dns and in my case right here it says configure dns and it's set to automatic we press on it and in here it's set to automatic we'll have to change it to manual once we change this to manual we'll see our default dns we're going to be able to remove our default dns so we're going to press on this little red icon and then press on delete then right here we're going to add server and that's where we're going to type the cloudflare dns address 1.1.1.3 and then we're going to add one more server it's going to be alternative 1.0.0.3 and then we're going to press on save and that's it we can go back and now we're going to test make sure it works we're going to open safari browser and in here we're going to type we're going to go to the same website phub.com and you can see we cannot get to this website because ipad is redirecting to the cloudflare dns and it's blocking it's preventing your device to connect to adult content and this is pretty much it if this video is helpful to you press that like button and don't forget to subscribe Thanks for watching.